uh, the role that China's debt played in landing Sri Lanka in the mess that it did. And this is important because Pakistan could potentially be going down the same path as also several of the other countries that are part of the infamous Belt and Road Initiative defaults on China's infrastructure debts to Sri Lanka, particularly the funding of the Hamban Tota port, are amongst the big contributors to the current economic crisis. Experts believe China acted like a smart money lender, stepping in where it saw opportunity, carefully selecting targets. Projects and loans are made to resource rich or strategically located nations like Sri Lanka, and very often the debt burden then spirals and goes out of control. Kiosk in Colombo. Long queues for food, fuel, and essential commodities. Sri Lanka is on the brink. Angry masses storm the presidential palace, forcing President Rajpaksha and his family to flee on board a Sri Lankan Navy ship. The country is virtually bankrupt, unable to import either food or fuel. Sri Lanka's economic collapse is being seen as the fatal kiss of the dragon, the Chinese debt trap. Sri Lanka was offered high interest loans for infrastructure projects, which according to several analysts were vanity projects with low commercial returns. The Rajpaksha International Airport at Hambantota and the Mahind Rajpaksha Port are two prime examples where analysts argue that Sri Lankan president fell into the Chinese debt trap. Sri Lanka, incidentally, is crucial to Chinese President Xi Jinping's maritime silk route and also critical in getting a major port in the Indian Ocean region. The port at Hamban Tota is of strategic importance to China but of low economic importance to Sri Lanka. With Colombo defaulting on repayment of loans, the heavy debt burden forced renegotiation of contract giving China control of strategic assets. China may have protected Sri Lanka's leadership from international scrutiny and war crimes probe at international fora. They in turn took control of crucial infrastructure assets on a 99-year lease. Even in 2019, Sri Lanka had $7.5 billion for its reserves. But unproductive infrastructure projects fall in tourist footfall during and post-COVID, alleged corruption, lack of effective governance, and the Chinese white elephant projects resulted in multi-billion dollar loan defaults and debt with the country going bankrupt. With Ashutosh Mishra in Colombo, Bureau Report, India Today.